what's going on. So I just wanted to quickly talk about the <coughs> AUKUS agreement, or I don't know how to say it. It's A-U-K-U-S. It's uh, Australia, uh, UK and America joint um, nuclear submarine deal, I think it is, to see Australian subs have nuclear capabilities. This is just a pretext for the war, I think. This is what they're going to use because China's um, saying that, you know, it's it shouldn't be right that Australia has that and there's a, you know, they've been beating the war drums about Australia and China going to war over food already before, barley and all that. So, you know, I don't believe that there's any individual nation states now and the war's on us. So... It looks like this could be the trigger for perhaps in the very near future um, trouble with China and Russia. I have a feeling that Russia is going to attack the US, uh, China as well, through Canada. There's Chinese troops there, I believe, because um, China and Amer- uh, America and uh, Canada and Mexico may have signed an agreement back I think it was 2015, the North American Alliance. Uh, Yeah, so there's just going to be a mass convergence of Russians and Chinese on these three nations. Kind of makes my dreams stand out a bit more to me now. Um, Those big, big bombers from China. Heaps of them coming over. Very scary. Anyway, um... Yeah, it looks like the, uh, oh, yeah, Russia, Lav- Lavrov from Russia said that um, uh, there's going to have to be some IAEA, International Atomic Agency, uh, Energy Agency, uh, oversight of Australia's, um, uh, you know, like like what they're doing with Iran, you know, sort of having UN inspectors come in. But, I mean, that's all theatre. It's all show. It's... Uh, how it's going to go down exactly, it's a culmination of things, isn't it? I mean, China's killing off the uh, energy supply to, to uh, is it two-thirds of manufacturing? And they're doing things like having two days on, three days off of energy. They're cutting energy to people without warning. I saw something where people got stuck in a lift for two days. Um People's water obviously goes bad and all that because of the filtration places. Um, gas leaks have poisoned people in factories. So uh, a lot of the things maybe before Christmas are going to be missing on the shelves. The, it's all coming to a head. The U.S. economy collapse. Uh, inflation's apparently surging fast. I watched Greg Man- Manorino. Um, on uh, YouTube, been watching about ten years. He's got his finger on the pulse all the time, and yeah, um, it's going down quick. It's going to be full on soon. I mean, it's already pretty weird and full on here, but in another sense, with the control, just watching a whole lot of. I just watched um, a video on PK Truth channel, PK Truth Four. Did quite a good job. I'm not totally convinced he's not a shill anyway himself. All, all of them just destroying the tr- any truth movement. Who, What protest is going to be on the street trusting anyone around them saying, come here, go there, when, when it's obvious that they're staging these protests and uh, uh, the events of the protests, like the old woman falling over, and they're obviously not spraying proper pepper spray into people's faces. And a lot of this with Avi and uh, Rukshan is... So stage, it's not funny. PK did a real good job on that, um, showing showing how set up it all is. The police waiting for them to do things, it's crazy. So we're really in a real state of affairs here. Um, and uh, I think it's only going to get super crazy <laughs> soon. I mean, it always feels like it's going to be like that, and it always is getting crazier, but I think the war 
they've beaten those war drums. Uh, I heard 10 years before we had war with China at first. Now it's like in the next four years I read recently and now they just talk about it every day almost. Uh, talk about trying to put it in your face. On YouTube, every time I, on my homepage, the first bloody advertisement is for China getting the shits with Australia about uh, about um, the uh, AUKUS deal. But, I mean, it's on there every day in the same place with the Chinese, um, what's his name, Xi Jinping? Oh, I can't remember his name. Some dumb cunt. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it slips out. But anyway, um, gosh, can't believe I said that. Uh, <laughs> I should have said who flung dung. But anyway... He's standing there in full military gale there on a, even in the president in, in camo on a Chinese warship, you know. So they're trying to get it in our heads, right? There's this Australia versus China thing. Bullshit. It's all theatre and we're all, <clears throat> we're all about to be taken over by them in one way or another. Who knows how many cops on those streets are actually from other countries. Now we've got the laws in our land to us. Uh, let them all in here. Why would we even have those laws if we weren't going to have them in in the first place? Anyway, I'll just leave it there. I'm dribbling on a bit much now. <laughs> See ya.